So the first of two heats of the Western Iowa Vintage Association Vintage Cars. White flag is out, one lap to go. Lonnie Campbell has been holding off Todd Jansonius. The 79 car now gonna come up and he is gonna try and challenge Jansonius as well. But it is gonna be Lonnie Campbell picking up the heat race victory in the 75 car. Followed by Jansonius, the 79, Pudge Grable, and that beautiful 72 Ford Grand Torino. Now, if only it was a green Gran Torino, I could pull out my best Clint Eastwood. Get off my lawn! For those of you that have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I guess it wouldn't be county fair time without having to get up on the soapbox. For those that are standing in between one and two along the fence, you need to vacate now. I repeat, get away from the fence over there in one and two. Yes, you in the maroon colored shirt, we see you over there. You need to vacate now. You cannot stand there and watch. If a car goes through that fence, it's going to be a very bad day for your head. Vacate now.
And white flag gonna come out for Grandpa Gums' Kevin Brock. Pistol Pete Rasmussen in second, followed by the Mach 1 Mustang and the 64 Chevelle. As they come through three and four one more time, Kevin Brock takes the heat race win. Pistol Pete Rasmussen second, followed by the Mustang and the Knopf Chevelle. And on the outside in the double lot K modified, it's Trey Klein. And your current point leader, he was the points champion a couple weeks ago, or a couple years ago, sorry. He has a nine point lead over earlier announced speed racer Craig Reitz. From Mapleton, that's a 23, the Mapleton Farm Boy, Jim Tees. Going into championship night next week, it is gonna be an extremely tight points battle between two KG veterans, two former track champions, and two of the best in the business. Five cars for six laps. Let's go. As they head on down the front stretch into one and two, it is gonna be Alex Reed slipping up just a little bit. Jeff Stevens are high wide around the outside. He'll take the lead. And the Dan Ladd show for second and third is Craig Reitz now to the inside of the one AR of Alex Reitz. Here comes Jim Tease trying to get around the double okay at Drake Klein as well. Alex and Craig going back after it for the runner up spot. Actually, Craig tried to take a shot at Stevens as Stevens is trying to make that car as wide as possible. Alex Reitz up top, Craig Reitz down low and Trey Klein wants a piece of that auction off of four. Through one and two once again, Alex Reitz right up there putting that G60 Hoosier right on the knife edge of the berm as he gets around Jeff Stevens. Now Stevens catfishing around the bottom trying to make up some ground and get back to one at Alex Reitz, but Alex Reitz is gonna lead another lap. Alex Reitz, the class of this field now with three to go. Jeff Stevens trying to protect against Trey Klein if he knew he was coming. I'm not even sure he did. Klein shot out of a cannon that time, able to check up. Now dives down low after he got third from Craig Reitz, and it's nearly three wide for second. As we've got two laps to go, Alex Reitz up in the rumbly crumbly, so almost tore down the wall. Managed to keep it off there. Didn't lose a whole lot of ground, but they're almost three wide for second, third, and fourth. Craig Reitz tried to put his nose in the middle, thought better of it, backed out of it. But it is a double okay at Trey Klein and the 92 of Jeff Stevens going for second and third with the white flag out. The white flag is out, and Alex Reitz is almost for sure going to win, and who knows after that. Trey Klein, diamonds off the corner, down the back straight for the second spot. Down and deep into three and four. Alex Reitz wins. Trey Klein will hold on for second. Jeff Stevens third. Craig Reitz fourth. Fifth goes to the Mapleton farm boy, Jim Teese. And that'll wrap up heat race action. And rounding out the field in the 71 green Chevelle from Irwin, that is Pistol Pete Rasmussen. Ladies and gentlemen, up and on your feet, it's Parade and Wave for your Western Iowa Vintage Cars. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Vintage Car Racing. Heading down into one and two, it's gonna be Rex Jansonius ahead of Todd, as here comes Larry Knopp to the inside of the 64 of Jansonius. He's by one Jansonius looking to pick off another, as then you have Corey Campbell and Grandpa Gumps, Kevin Brock rounding out the top five. Grandpa Gumps don't need your rocking chair, he's already into the top five. To the top shelf he goes, diamonding that corner. 
down the back straightaway with the Mach 1 Mustang out front. Side by side for second. Catfishing around the bottom. Here comes Brock. You said Grandpa Gums doesn't need your rocket chair. Does he eat your Geritol or your, or your Medicare? Not a one. <laughs> Rex Jansoni is leading. Todd Jansoni is right now. Corey Campbell, Larry Knopp, second and third. Grandpa Gums, Kevin Bruck sitting in fourth right, or I'm sorry, fifth right now. Remember, Kevin Bruck undefeated so far on the other two stops of the Western Iowa Vintage Cars here at the Crawford County Speedway. Can he go three for three or nine? He's trying like mad, but Rex Jansonius with a good race out front so far. Corey Campbell back into third in that yellow 75 as Bruck dispatches Knopp and going for the lead is Todd Jansonius. Todd battling Rex. It's an all Jansonius battle up front right now. Corey Campbell, he wants it on now. And here comes Bruck. Bruck drives it down the hill, shot like a cannonball. He is on the back door of that battle for second and third between Campbell and Todd Jansonius. Halfway home. Top shelf goes Bruck again. Darn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, down the back straightaway. He gets by Todd Jansonius and going after Campbell for second. He might get it down the front straightaway this time with three to go. Six laps down, four laps to go. A lot of time left for Brooke as he once again is gonna drive it down the hill. He'll get up to the quarter panel of Corey Campbell. Can't quite get any further than that down the back stretch. Now he's gonna try to drive it in deep into three and four. He's at the corner, at the door. They are side by side coming out of four, but it is still Rex Jansoni is your leader. Three to go this time in a three-way battle for the lead. Brock hammer heading around the bottom. Campbell up top. They're side by side for the second spot but they are trying to include Rex Jansonius in that, although he doesn't want to be included in that as Brooke is able to take the top spot off the floor. Two laps to go, Kevin Brooke, now your leader. Rex Jansonius goes from the hunted to the hunter as he tries to find a way to get around the 38, not gonna happen. Grandpa Gums, Kevin Brooke comes out of turn number two and says, later, I am out of here, folks. As white flags they come out, one to go for Kevin Brock. Oh, Corey Campbell spins it all the way around off of four and oh, moves it into the concrete, but saved it. Pucker factor of about <laughs> 973 on that one. Whew. Oh, wow. Corey Campbell with a great run and ends in. Ends in heartbreak, but not quite tragedy as he barely keeps it from nosing off the uh, concrete. And also the other drivers heads up driving as they manage to hold off from hitting him. A rocket ship with Pistol Pete Rasmussen. But you gotta think Rasmussen has multiple years of hobby stock experience under his belt too yeah. that he's pulling from. So not surprised that he's taken to these cars so well. Kevin Brunt, top shelf, bringing them back to green. Rasmussen all over Rex Jansonius for second. Todd Jansonius trying to get back to the podium as Kevin Bruck accepts the white flag. Rasmussen to the inside. One last lap to go. Kevin Bruck going for perfection. Three stops by the Western Iowa Vintage Racing Association. Three wins coming up. Pistol Pete Rasmussen, Rex Jansonius going for second and third is Larry Knopp and Todd Jansonius going for fourth and fifth, but it's gonna be Grandpa Gums taking the win. Kevin Bruck wins. Pistol Pete Rasmussen in second. Third is gonna go to Rex Jansonius, fourth to Todd Jansonius. And Larry Knopp's gonna round out that top five. And on the outside is the double lock K from Slushwig, Trey Klein. And as Alex Reitz from Dunlap in the 1AR rounds out the field, send them off in style, Crawford County Speedway.
as the Bank Iowa Pace vehicles are getting ready to pull off 15 laps. 15 more laps of fair racing for 2022. Crawford County Fair, we are Modified Racing! Jeff Stevens to the bottom. He gets the first call, but then off of turn number two, the Mapleton Farm Boy powers to the lead. The point leader on the point of the field as Stevens is in second, but Klein is gonna try to change that down the front straightaway. Right now, only nine points separate Jim Teese from uh, sorry, from the 1R of Craig Reitz. And right now, the two points battlers are bookending the field as uh, Craig trying to get around Alex. Here comes the double OK of Trey Klein. He's looking sporty tonight. As they run right now, it is ideal for Jim Teese's title hopes. Craig Reitz goes downstairs on Alex Reitz for fourth, but up front, Klein is sizing up Teese to try to get to him, and he nearly does through three and four that time. The battle is not over with yet. Trey Klein, that car has been a rocket ship the whole back half of the season, and uh, he's looking to try and get around Teese. Lose a little bit of ground there in turn two, and that's going to put Jeff Stevens right up on his back bumper. Battle is on for second and third. Klein and... T and uh, Stevens, Stevens on the outside. The man from Greyhound Country able to take the second spot. And don't look now, but he may have found something in the middle groove of the Crawford County Speedway trying to get to Jim Teese. Oh my, and Stevens is looking fast and sporty. It might be the fact they got their brand new apparel in today, or their new shirts. That might be why he's looking sporty, but either way, he is trying to find any way around the 23 of Teese. He's gonna try to ring it around the high side. Not quite gonna get it done. Teese leads another lap. Steven's not just trying to sell t-shirts. He wants to get in Van Wall equipment victory lane. As Teese gaps him by a couple car lengths, but Stevens is trying mightily, driving it in deep into three and four. Battle for the lead off of four. Stevens going after him. Jeff Stevens trying to go after the Maple the Farm Boy. Not quite going to get it done as Teese is going to shut that door on him. He's going to shut the barn door on him, actually, if you want to get technical. <laughs> Stevens going to lose a little bit of ground down the back stretch of Trey Klein. Now he's going to have to go back to the whip and try to make that back up. As once again, Teese leads another lap, seven to go. Stevens getting through three and four in particular quite well. Teeth maybe making up on the other end as Stevens, I think, is into the wall, maybe. I, I'm pretty sure he hit the wall off of turn number two that time. Trey Klein goes to the second spot as the reaches do battle for fourth all feature long. Yeah, unfortunately, Jeff Stevens got up in the rumbly crumblies, and that was all it took. As now the double OK Trey Klein trying to hunt down the Mabel Farm boy and see if he can do anything with him. This would definitely help extend that points lead for Jim Teese going into next week's championship finale. Presented by the Crawford County Memorial Hospital. Jim Teese looking about as good as he has all season down the back straightaway here at the Crawford County Speedway. Looking to make a statement of his own tonight, the point leader with four to go on top. As they fired off back down into one and two one more time, Jim Teese. He is able to keep the same distance between him and Klein. Klein not able to make up any ground, unfortunately, but also not losing any ground to Teese as uh, Stevens also fading back just a little bit. Greg reads into the pits. Second place in points is pulling it in. Are you kidding me? Craig Reitz officially calls it no joy, goes into the pit area down the back straightaway as he was battling for fourth and the worst he could finish is fifth. That's guaranteed now with the green in the air and two to go. Yeah, but that's still five more points he's got to try and make up next week if he wants any shot at the points battle. Remember, 
Nine points was the difference coming into tonight. Now it's going to be a minimum of 14 just to tie the 23 of Tees as the green and white flag is out. One lap to go for the 2022 Crawford County Fair races. Jim Tees in the yellow and red 23. Top shelf and down the back straightaway. Down to the inside and off of three and four. Jim Tees gets the win. Trey Klein second, Jeff Stevens third. Fourth and final runner on the racetrack, Alex Reitz in the 1AR.